Hey, what's up guys? Tristan X with Squadron and Vilfar Drone Squadron here to do some flight time over here at Carlsbad State Beach. So, without further ado, let's just go get some flying in, man. Let's do this. See, when flying drones, it gives you a whole entire different perspective on how you see the world. At least that's for me and how I see the world. It's one thing when you uh, fly around, or I'm sorry, when you take pictures with your smartphone or your, your camera. It's nice, you know, you just take pictures of scenery and stuff. But once you get a drone up there, it's a whole entire different world than how you and I would see it. So right now I'm filming in 1080p at 24 frames per second, so it has that more of a cinematic feel to it. Oh wow, there is some... Yeah, that was one of the only few things I didn't like about the Mavic Pro first generation because how much it couldn't handle the wind at all. I mean, it feels like maybe 15 to 18 mile per hour cross knot winds. So I'm not cheeking it up to uh, to sport mode. Sport mode meaning that it's gonna go in high speed. So I just wanna just take her easy. I have a question. Yes. Can you fly that autonomous thing? Yes, you can. You can set it up to where you can actually have it like track you. So basically, it's like cameraman that's behind you or in front of you or in front of you like however you orient the uh, the drone itself yeah oh no worries that's some uh passerbyers so just come and uh, take a look at what i was doing yeah give me some questions But these master air screw props should be able to um, deal with the cutting of the wind very easily as versus to the stock props. It's uh, to my left out oh, okay. that way. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. What does one of those things cost? Um, it can range uh, as cheap as about 
four hundred dollars for just the battery, the drone, and the remote. Yeah. And these are the newer ones, but this one that I'm flying is uh, it's a it's five years old now. Yeah. Okay. How much is this one brand new? About something like this. Uh, something of this caliber, roughly about a thousand, brand new. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, depending on which one you can get, some can go as far as out to like eight something miles. Oh wow! How, yeah. How far does this go? Uh, this one is rated at about four and a half, almost five miles. But I don't even take it out even beyond a mile. To be honest with you. Yeah, at least you can see it, but any further than that. I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, you want to maintain more or less of a line of sight, and on on top of that, like when you have like a lot of homes with like Wi-Fi connections and then like people with cellular uh, cellular phones or smartphones, like you have some sort of interference, but with the newer drones, uh, they kind of they kind of increase the uh, the transmission and uh, the strength of the connection between the remote and the drone itself. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no worries. All right. All right, you have a good day. If I had people ask me questions about drones four, four years ago while I'm flying, yeah, I would get distracted so easily to the point where I wouldn't even, I would lose focus in flying. Oh wow, the battery is still solid on this, that's good. That is good. Still got about roughly 17, some odd minutes, 17 and a half minutes left, depending on the way I fly. I mean, one of the joys for me when I fly drones is the fact that I actually, uh, to me, this is like therapeutic. It's relaxing, it's fun, you know, I get to enjoy the freedom of the skies. And on top of that, I love the fact that I can actually uh, use this as like a fly cam, so when I record, and record my voice, It's like I have my own personal camera assistant. So if I set this to fly autonomously, it's even perfect. Bye! Yeah, so if the sound gets uh, muffled in and out, uh, it's because of the fact that um, it's pretty windy today here at Carlsbad State Beach. guys a little bit of a perspective of where I live at and its environment. I mean, look how beautiful Carlsbad is. This is just gorgeous. Too gorgeous. Right, I'm going to take some snapshots real quick. So at the bottom left corner of this screen is an actual little mini map so you can pretty much see where your drone is actually located up in the skies.
Since this doesn't have a zoom feature, I mean, granted it is a first generation Mavic Pro. I can't get it any closer. Let's see if I can. If not, then I can always recrop my shot later. Always be aware of your surroundings. Oh wow, it just wants to go up. So that's the beauty part about when you can tilt the gimbal of the camera. Shots later. All right, let's do one more pass in the recording. More of a an actual true recording of this. There's a formation of birds, a flying V. Let's see if I can get them. Catch them from the rear. There they are. Boom, perfect. I gotta take it easy again. Crikey! Take her down close to the deck so we can get some. Uh, I like to call these Miami Vice shots where you get so close to the water and then you strafe along it. Make sure there's nobody around. There she is. I see you. What I could do later on the edit, since I'm not flying fast enough, I could just uh, do a, a quick speed up of the of this segment of the video. A turn too fast, too fast. All right, let's bring her in for an approach and then call it a day. Only on one battery, and I've only used about oh, granted, nearly how long I've been recording 14 minutes. That's good, that's good, solid. Yeah, I've always loved the original Mavic Pro. I mean, it, it holds a special place in my heart because of the fact that 
It was one of my first uh, collapsible drones that I've ever gotten. And I had just too much fun flying this thing. Uh, I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. There we go. So we can get that beeping noise out of the way. So that's a collision detection sensor. When it gets cl too close to an object or to a uh, some sort of object, what happens is that the uh, you get an alert um, going off on your on your smartphone or your tablet, whatever you use to uh, view your drone. This is Tristan X with Velfar Drone Squadron and with Squadron telling you guys to fly safe, have fun, and for all my TikTok followers out there and friends, keep on TikToking.